Chris and Phil have been boys for years They held each other down through ups, downs, and all the tears So if one was in need, the other was always there On a tip like, you ain't got a call, I'm here So on the surface, it should have been boys to the end But as time passed, the struggle started deeper within And when Chris told Phil, man, I'ma always ride with you He meant it, till this new cat came inside the picture Chris started chilling with him more and with fearless. less Dude told Chris, as far as stress, man, you'll feel less Just kick it with me, I got your back and all your problems Hey, I'm Josh Palma. I'm here with the 2009 Hyperlite Tribute. Just want to go over a few of the key features of this, of this shape with. This is a Greg Nelson design. And one of the, one of the things you'll notice right off uh, is the diamond tip shape. This is, uh, this is really important. Keeps the board sitting, sitting nice and high in the water, which is also going to give it a really clean, snappy release off the top of the wake. It's going to give you a lot of pop, and you're not going to feel any of that resistance as you're coming off the wake and starting spins. It's the weak ones that always give in, but with this life, just know when it tests you. Because even the best sometimes fold under pressure. Some will do anything just to fit in. And usually it's the weak ones that always give in, but with this life, just know when it tests you. Because even the best. Another one of the features that we have on the 2009 Tribute is the variable edge design. As we go from a more rolled soft edge to a very sharp edge through here and then it's actually cupped right here at the tip and tail. In addition to that, and um, we're also going to get more edge hold with this board as a result of these curved flow channels on the bottom. If you look, if you see right here, these channels actually follow the edge of the board so that as you're setting a hard edge and you're using these, these uh, cupped rails that we just talked about, these channels are going to increase your edge hold and stability, which is going to allow you to really dig in and get a good hard load at the wake without having to worry about you know, slipping out or, or um, having any inconsistencies there going up the wake. One of the last features we want to check out on the bottom of the board is this uh, slight spine here in the middle. It's, it's a soft landing feature. It's going to really help the board disperse water on those big impacts, uh, which you're definitely going to get from this, from this fast, aggressive carver and its continuous pop that's going to send you up and way out in the flats.